Welcome back everyone to Let's Play World Waves 2 as Japan, episode number 70. And this is it. War with the United States, I've cranked up the tensions. I tried to leave all the other tensions the same, I was tempted to lower Russia's, I was also tempted to lower Germany's, but... We're gonna go ahead and just ride it out, and if uh, fate deems to crap on us by putting us at war with multiple parties, we'll try to make do the best we can. and. Being at war with Russia and the United States, I think we could actually handle that just because Russia has been so manhandled. I believe it's just a rush, uh, submarines, right? No, I mean, 91 is a lot, don't get me wrong, but that's not... Yeah, I mean, that is a lot. But yeah, they have two battleships, one battlecruiser, no carriers. This is a foe I believe we could deal with. They have a pretty substantial cruiser fleet, actually. Like we have five at fifty three thousand and they have nine at one hundred and twenty six thousand this is like these are <laughs> what how what's the average tonnage here <clears throat> if it was fifteen it would be so it's a little bit like it's like fourteen thousand or so yeah it's very close to fourteen thousand um so yeah it's those are pretty reason those are big cruisers. Much bigger than mine, at least. I mean, my biggest cruiser is 13,000. And the reason why our average is so low is because the Miobus are also <laughs> counted as heavy cruisers, even though they really are not. I think they, yeah, they even have, no, oh, they have 8-inch guns. Okay, yeah, so they are technically, well, I guess the you can get 8-inch guns on the legacy fleets, um, like cruisers, and those don't count as heavy cruisers. But uh, anyways, it doesn't really matter anyway. We'll crank intel effort down to low. I don't think our research is going to matter that much. It'll save us a little bit of money. Not that that really matters. It'll prevent tensions from going up. We'll leave intel very high against the United States. And this is the big question. What's going to happen? In fact, I'm even going to save. And let me cut real fast just to, to take a copy of this because we might have to duplicate things multiple times. I also noticed that the camera was not aligned. So let's get that working correctly. OK. So here we go, next turn, let's see what happens. <laughs> Not really what I expected, but hey, that's that's good timing, I guess. Man, this is like perfect timing. Did not plan this at all. It's possible we won't go to war. Boy, my uh, hard drive really didn't like that. Curb our naval program in the interest of peace and stability. We would rather go to war than agree to naval limitations. A disarmament conference? That sounds hilarious. Um, let's say no to all. We're not at war. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, almost unfortunate since... <laughs> Our funds won't. We don't like this. I'm gonna save again because again, that's it's kind of funny that that happened, and uh, I'm still waiting to go to war here. Our fleet can't cap. Get, look at Central Pacific. We can't camp out there forever. Um, ships under construction. Do we want to put on these? So, and, uh, let's see, how many would we need to put on hold? Oh my god, we have so many ships on hold already. Well, I guess two more won't hurt. This will... I don't know if this will even save us. No, it won't. Yeah, you know what? Forget it. We'll just... We'll go into the negative. What is going on? Why... <laughs> what is this madness? So we're actually... Our funds are positive. I guess when the ships are built, they don't cost money or something. Something strange is afoot, but I'll take it. Um, this is hilarious. I don't... I mean, it was a joke before. It'd be pretty funny to do a disarmament conference, because are people building battleships? Not really. No, not really. So I think we'll just inflame things. Uh, not against Russia... Why are we not going to war with the U.S.?
What the hell's going? I'll be right back. Okay, I tinker with the tensions once again, but I wanted to stay in this universe, this save game universe, as long as possible, even though I know my fleet is just slowly dying out in Central Pacific. This should mean war. Oh my gosh. Um, three, wow. Okay, very good speeds. Good range. 10, 16, that's crazy. Um, and those are very heavy bombs. This top one looks amazing to me. Oh, this was actually slightly faster. Much worse range, but actually still better range than the previous ones. And I, I don't know, we want the firepower. I think firepower and maneuverability, we're gonna take the hit on toughness and we'll take the hit on max speed. Max speed, I'm guessing, probably helps you more disengaging or maybe on the defensive. So hopefully with maneuverability and compensating for that. Because this is maneuverability of only 14 for three knots difference of max speed. That doesn't strike me as worthwhile. Let's do this. Okay, there it is. And we didn't get it. I just don't know if we'll be able to get one. Okay, let me, I don't know if we'll reload or not. I'm still strongly considering it. But before we do anything, let's go to trade protection mode for all these guys. Um, oh God, I did not want to do that. No, <laughs> I want to, Mobilization, sorry, it's the wrong button. <laughs> yeah, there we go. The good thing it didn't do anything because we didn't advance time with it. So let's just see what happens if we do this. <sighs> yeah, we don't get a surprise attack. Okay, let's go back and try it again. No, 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 I'm just gonna close this, so be right back. Okay, take two. Uh, missile technology, holy cow. Good gracious. Oh my gosh, I have to choose another one. <laughs> it's going to keep re-rolling them. <laughs> uh, we didn't get the 10-16 that we got last time. We got 9-15. This one has, I think, faster max speed, though. W weren't we looking at, like, 320 last time? Anyways, I'll just choose the top one again. <gasps> yes! Yes! Good. Available carriers will move to area. Very good. Okay. It's not in the area I want. It's not using the carriers I wanted. But that's okay. I think everybody's already activated, so that shouldn't be a big deal. Um, attack enemy ships. Sure. This is so cool. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> we have two submarines, like, in their bay. And they have two ports here. Holy cow. It's actually a curious issue, which... I wonder which one they're at. Okay, we're pointed this way, so I assume they're in Manila. That would make the most sense, too. But I'm, I'm going to make sure that our scouts actually cover that area. Oh my gosh, this is, this is really exciting. <laughs> yeah, they may... I mean... The fact that it doesn't cover the Northern Bay pretty much says it for me that there's nobody up there. So we'll go for maximum cap. Distance, definitely gonna bring that down. So 150 should be enough. I guess we'll go 160 just to make sure. <clears throat> and then before we do anything, I'm just gonna start prepping Um, what does that mean? G is green, V is veteran, maybe? Why are these guys in such bad shape? Considering I've had them on active fleet for so long. Hmm. Well, I guess we want to prioritize carriers if they have any. And I have made a big, a big mistake by not determining what stuff is there. It's a little unfortunate. Wait, all heavy? Strike. 
Yeah, it doesn't doesn't do what I want it to do. Um, I'm probably gonna select at least a few fighters to go with them, depending on the oop, never mind. On the spotting loads. So who's over and who's not? We're good here, we're over here. So let's uh, take off. Who's going to be more likely to be successful in the future? A dive bomber by itself or a torpedo bomber? I think it's going to be dive bombers by themselves. So let me take off the 19 dive bombers here. And let me add some fighters to this. Um, so Shinano, these 14 or 20. Well, we can only take the 14. That should put us right at 50. This is good. And they're on escort duty. So let's ready this strike. It's actually funny. I think I just want to ready everyone, though, but not the fighters, just in case they need to be on cap. So even though I didn't ready you, the dive bombers, I think I'll wait like one minute for those dive bombers just so they don't become available at the same time. Oh, yeah, you can just launch a strike immediately, I think, with that same thing. So let me just select all the people who are now getting ready. Oh wow, do we have four? We have four, this is awesome. We have four carriers here and they're all about to just, oh, that's so cool. And you're actually over as well. So uh, we'll probably sneak in a bunch of fighters with the Zookies as well. Just these nine perhaps. Let's get you ready. Can you go to escort? Okay. And now, if I do ready strike, is it, ah, damn it, it does do that. Okay, fine. Let's try this one more time. So we're good here, 49 out of 51. Two. Oh, I wonder why we only have 46 spotting on the Zuki. Okay, fine, we'll take the dive bombers instead. Fighter, torpedo, and dive bomber. It's weird. Okay, um, then down here, we have you, you, and you, I guess. Okay, 51. Seems, something doesn't seem quite right about this. I don't know what's going on, but I'm just gonna let it go. I'm just gonna let it happen. Let's coordinate attack. Let's choose, I mean, they must be in the base, so we're just gonna choose it immediately. And let's do launch strike. Yeah, or ready and launch if not ready. Okay, good. And we want to prioritize, yeah, the CVs. Um, we'll do it just inside 147 so that, oh, brother. Okay, so that means I have to do this yeah, even differently. I have to coordinate individual strikes, which I, I still want to do. It's really, it's going to take me a little bit of time, but this is just the way the game is, right? It's kind of unfortunate. So let's coordinate this strike. Um, yes, I do want that changed. No, 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 I didn't mean no isn't, I mean cancel. Badge. <laughs> um, I'll have a chance to change it. No, no, I won't. <sighs> Where did they go? Damn it. Things are not off to a good start. All right, whatever. Medium, let's make sure that these guys are all on heavy loads. That's fine. What is the medium load? It's a 500 pound bomb. Yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate. A thousand pound bomb is really gonna do some damage, 500 pounds. If it hits a destroyer or a cruiser, it's really gonna hurt, but. Um, well, at least we won't mess it up the, the rest of them. So now we'll just be launching these. Um, now this is the one. Oh yeah, we're doing some different crap here. I am just messing up all over the place. Ah, uh, no. There we go. Okay, launch strike. And then we have three at the top. All right, whatever, just, just go. And you know what, just select all. <laughs> we just select everyone. You guys get ready as well. Just uh, ready, torpedo heavy, yeah, ready strike. Okay, fair enough. 
Yes, launch search planes. Yes. So we moved a minute. So I hope that that was all I wanted to do. Do we have any other carriers, by the way? Oh my god, we have two... Oh my god, these are the carriers from... They came from Pearl Harbor. They came from the... Oh my gosh, we have six carriers. This is so cool. Okay, then this is... This is, this is something, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Okay, that's really cool. I wish I had taken... I hit spacebar and I actually didn't mean to. I mean, I pressed it within... Like, It's not like I twitched and something. But I, I hit spacebar, not really thinking about the consequences of that. I didn't want to leave that first minute yet. So some of these might be lagging a little bit, but I think we should do fighters with them still. So let's do 18 and the two torpedo bombers. Um, let's do this. Uh, yeah, this is good. Escort, that's good. Um, <clears throat> so this is also going to be here. Good. Let's just launch the strike, I guess. Actually, for this, we're going to prioritize battleships. Since we already have a lot of people prioritizing other stuff. And the tsunami here is going to probably do the same thing, just pick some fighters. We have 12. We'll take 12 with us. Well, perfect amount. And we'll launch the same. Now, the rest of them... Any dive bombers we didn't pick. Put them on a heavy load. What's our range for heavy? Yeah, it's plenty. 209. So this is why. I, this is what I mean. Range does not really matter beyond like 200 on heavy. Because you just usually the game starts you close enough that you don't need to do anything less than that. So we won't coordinate. We'll just get these guys ready for now. Um, which means I should ready strike. And the fighters will be for cap basically. Okay. All right, now we can start moving forward. Oh, man. Okay. Wind is out of the south, so we'll be moving north. That's a good thing. And we'll want... You know, I probably shouldn't have launched my attack yet. I probably should have waited until my destroyers or something were getting closer. So what I think we're going to do instead is just have these guys just go screaming in as quickly as possible since, you know, we're, we're essentially short on time. <laughs> The attack is getting there, with or without us. Now, what kind of... Oh, we have the weaker cruisers here. These may not be good for actually attacking in. Yeah, I don't think I'm actually going to engage with these. In fact, what I want to do, I'm sure of it now, is go and defend with my, my heavy AA guns. Destroyers, though, those guys are... Those guys are meant for the... Meant for the attack. So, do we have support line ahead? Independent line ahead. This is not technically a different group, though. I don't understand that. Okay, let's go to line ahead. Let's go to line ahead. And there we go. Okay, so let's, let's see what's happening now. We are keeping with us a group of destroyers. And who's better between these two? Heavy AA 7? 11, okay. Well, that's because these are the really, really, really old cruisers. So I'm going to hope that the cap is sufficient. I'm going to take you guys and send you in as quickly as possible, at least. Okay, let's start moving. This is it, the big attack. So let's get you to be a support. Or let's maybe go support. I really want support, but it won't let me. Okay, let's screen for the battleships if we can. Will it let me do that? Uh, not if I don't do this. Screen for battleships. Is it going to work? Maybe. And you guys have, yeah, you guys have really good, the, the kit cut. So who's going in? Oh, the Kongus. Okay, these have 11. These have 19. Okay, very good. We have like 
The battle generator has for once done me a favor. It's put like the best destroyers. Oh my god, 27. Just kidding. These guys are even better. What's their speed? 35? 33. Interesting. These have extremely good... I'm actually going to pull these guys back so that we have more... Well, shoot. I mean, I guess the time... If there's ever a time to not worry about anti-aircraft, it's when you're doing a strike. A surprise attack. I'd actually rather send these guys in. They have 12 torpedoes. And are these the ones then with... Yeah, these do not have... In fact, this is a whole mix. The Hokazi has 27, but the Monokazi has 9. The Konokazi has 11. Okay, never mind. These guys are going in. <clears throat> There's only one there that has the highest amount of AA. Okay. Let's get these two up. Oh, this is, the, this is my old... Oh my gosh, these are the old ships. Let's get them up to like 18. I don't think we'll be doing direct attacks. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they're already going in. Holy cow. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's it's happening. Alright, there's no way the destroyers are going to make up that distance. Look at that stream. Oh, man, it's beautiful. This is, this is Pearl Harbor. I'm just so happy that the carriers pulled, actually came in. Do you want to adjust the final strike location for north? Click yes. No. Let's just keep the same because I think that that's where we want it. I'm just hopeful. Now, at this point, it's probably time to start getting any groups of... Can I sort by numbers? It'd be nice to sort. Like, fighters? Okay, fighters I don't need to ready. I'm going to leave them, but torpedo bombers, too. Not a big deal. Okay, let's do it this way. Uh, you're not ready, but it's two. Okay, so these torpedo bombers are ready. So I guess I will tell them to launch in a moment. I just want to make sure everyone else is ready. So fighters, but that's fighters. Two, 19, which are ready. Dive bombers, okay. 19, unready. No, it's fighters. 18 fighters, okay. So it looks like all the torpedo bombers and dive bombers only have groups of two or three, and I'll just leave those as groups of two or, th of two or three. We won't send them out yet. And I'll wait a little bit on the second wave. Um, yeah, I think so. Nope, need to go back though and select the other carrier division. So many carriers. So you done, yeah, same thing, two, two, two. 16, ready, dive bombers. Two, two, twos, 11, two, and then 18, okay. <clears throat> okay, so let's let's just let these guys move on in. Actually, you know what? It's probably already early. Uh, it's probably already ready to go. Let's let's just send them because it's gonna take time for them to actually get up. Okay, so where's my big groups? 18, 16. We're a little bit closer now, so we can actually target this a little bit further back, I guess. Uh, I'll target it like over here instead. Mix it up a little bit. Battleships or carriers? Let's do CVs again. Eh, let's do BBs. Okay, that's that. We're still leaving some in reserve just in case we, you know, totally goof on the spotting. But I'm pretty confident they should be in the bay. Yep. Getting reports. So this one down here was was kind of a mistake. But what what are we seeing? What is the reports? One care. Okay. Good. 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 This um this is perfect actually, because then I can send you are the main one. Yeah. We'll switch over to CVs for the very few remaining torpedo bombers, and dive bombers. We'll have these guys target the CVs, and we'll have them target this. And launch strike. What? Oh, what, 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 what? Oh, your range is only 115. What the hell? These are the old dive bombers. It's crazy. 115. Let's see. Oh, so we can go this far. Okay, we're going we're gonna to do two separate attacks here. 
So we'll choose this. They won't be able to go, so we'll unready the dive bombers. We'll send the torpedo bombers. So launch strike. Then we'll go back for the dive bombers, and we'll just shorten theirs. I think it'll still work. 115. Yep, okay, so they should be able to launch there. Um, look, I just chose 114. Oh, wait, 129. Oh, it might be counting from the center of the division. It is. Okay, fair enough. So don't launch yet. You, I'm going to hold on to you because <laughs> I have to. Need to wait a little bit longer. And let's get these guys maybe going up to 20. 20 knots, so they're moving a little bit faster in the direction I need them to go. But here comes the, the waves of aircraft. So we should be getting reports. Oh my god, this is so... This is wonderful. <clears throat> yeah, this is so good. Okay, so we had CVL bomb hits. Oh my gosh. Three of them. That's going to really diminish the return fire from their carriers. And we're just getting started. CA bomb hit. Oh, this is so awesome. Hmm. Here we go. Okay, we are hitting some things with torpedoes. A carrier, I mean a, a heavy cruiser. It's not really what the doctor ordered. Yeah, and continue proceeding this way whenever you can. So we're definitely hitting some stuff. More things are approaching things. Hit by torpedoes. Man, we gotta get our destroyers over there. It's just gonna be carnage, especially when they pour out of this small little focus funnel. Oh man, you know what? I don't usually like to go squad max, but I think we are just gonna go full on squad max. You guys at 27 though, just because you are slower to begin with, and then uh, we need the formation to tighten up a bit. I'm not even seeing bombs hit after the first few that did. Oh, this is so good though. Lots of torpedoes are hitting things. Another carrier hit by torpedoes. Okay. We've been slowly moving a little bit closer. I do want to check on what do we have. We have 19 dive bombers ready. <clears throat> What's the range to target now? Um, by the way, are these guys 115. Okay, so we still can only do 115. 120. We'll wait a little bit longer. I think I could. I think it would work, but I'm not gonna risk it. So. I'm at target. What? It's the beginning of the day. Oh, I guess that this is the time over here. Yes, yeah, so we don't have to worry about that. We'll have plenty of time for these attacks. And yeah, everything from Japanese carrier group, carrier division 13 is, has completely launched. We're waiting for their return. Torpedo hits the torpedo net, that's crazy. <laughs> but otherwise, we still landed some other torpedoes. Ah, there's just torpedoes hitting everywhere. Oh, that's cool, that's a cool shot. Yeah. So as soon as you guys make the last little jog, oh my god, there's so many. Are you guys going to be moving away? Yeah, I think so. So I actually want you to launch whatever you have now. Like, is this getting further? It's at 119. Okay, we have even more aircraft still approaching. We're slowing down for a float plane recovery. I don't think we'll launch again. Okay, so we're hitting some light cruisers. Oh man, and hitting some carriers. I definitely want to prioritize bombers, or sorry, battleships at this point, because I think the carriers have already been wrecked. What's more important, I think, is that the carriers can't really do anything. They're stuck in the bay, 
we could send some destroyers in, and destroyers have torpedoes. Carriers don't have very good guns, so we would be able to very easily go in and torpedo them. Now, obviously, the carriers, I mean, sorry, the cruisers on the enemy side are going to be a big problem for, you know, a big instrument, an obstacle to prevent that, but I'm, I want my dive bombers to, okay, speaking of battleships, so there are battleships there, and they are getting hit. Um, I want to make sure that we take out any of the ships with guns, though, because that's what, well, I guess, the thing is, we don't really have much of a fighting force. We have two Gachamuchis, I assume. I didn't even check. Yep, two, two Gachamuchis, and these are not bad battleships, but they are a bit older. I'm not sure if we want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anything with these. They're kind of like more of a, an emergency force. I need you guys to actually move, believe it or not. Like, where the hell are you going? Okay, now you're going the right way. And let me go back to this screen and see what, what would it be, 116 in claims right now. 117, yeah, we gotta wait a little bit still. A couple more minutes, I think. We're hitting more ships. This is so good, man. Just we're blanketing them. How many? I've never seen the torpedo hit torpedo nets so many times. That was a lot of hits. Wow. So supposedly destroyer, heavy cruiser, heavy cruiser, and another carrier. I have to say we definitely want to focus on stuff that is not carriers at this point. I'm not even sure. We might even want to focus on like light cruisers. You know, if it is dive bombers, I think it's uh, the last group is dive bombers, right? It's old dive bombers. I think I'm actually going to focus on something bizarre, like, oh, we, you can't even do it. Um, let's just go for any, because I, I actually want to focus on escorts. I think we'll be having a, I think it'll be a much easier time getting in and destroying stuff if we actually kill the escorts. Like, what's, what's this? Oh, yeah, well, we should be focusing on that. That is 116. This is 114. 115. Can we launch now? Okay, that's good. <clears throat> I'll take that. All right, some more torpedoes going down. So we, we do need to watch out. I mean, our destroyers are still pretty far away, but it sends people basically right at the mouth. Ah, this is this is so much fun. It's just so much fun to be doing a surprise attack. And I know that this is not much of the American fleet, I have to think. So it's so cool though that all my carriers actually <laughs> moved into the same sea zone. I had six carriers in this fight. It's just so cool. Thank you. Thank you, Frederick. This is very this is like very well done. This is so satisfying. What a great experience. Okay, we're still, yeah, dive bombing. Heavy cruisers, light cruisers, these are good things. Although I don't think we hit. Oh, never mind, there it is. Oh, we're hitting battleship. They're, they're just still coming back. <coughs> wow. That's actually a great one, hitting destroyers. I don't know if it's true or not. Could have been light cruiser. I mean, there's misidentifications galore. Yeah, these are really good things, like to see the the lighter ships being hit as well. That's a good sign. I no, I just I'm so curious what is actually here. If I go to the reports screen, we're gonna get a lot of different reports. I don't see anything more than one battleship being reported. I do see two carriers. No, one carrier. We'll probably go with the any aircraft from now on. I mean, any ships for targeting. I kind of want to cover the south and the north um, edge of the map just to make sure that they are edge of the bay, just to make sure no ships have already escaped. Ah, they took down one of our aircraft. 
with medium A on the dive, that's pretty impressive. Oh, these are torpedo bombers, Never mind. Oh, that's right, the 20 is the torpedo bombers and the 19 coming after that, those are the dive bombers. And there they are. Oh, this is so interesting. I just, I don't know, I just love this. It's so cool. I can visualize it in my head. I mean, I could just imagine all these air, these uh, destroyers, they just see wave after wave after wave. Just lots and lots and lots of aircraft. This has been what? About probably around 300 aircraft moving in. Can you imagine just watching like as slowly squadron after squadron of 300 aircraft goes in? It'd be really impressive. Okay, we found something here. What did we find? Yeah, two destroyers. That's actually fine. We'd be able to take that on even. Although I would prefer my cruisers to get here. Yeah. Okay, this is the last attack. Is there anything here? Well, they're going on the land, so I guess not. And our destroyers here have hit the edge of the bay. We didn't spot anything. That's a really good sign. So everything seems to be contained. It's, of course, what I wanted to check. It's, you know, it's possible that they gathered steam and actually head to the, headed either north or south out of the bay very quickly. Although the, you know, the aircraft leaving the bay should have detected that. I wonder if these flags, like, um, they do some, let's say that the ship position is here and it gives you a random error somehow, probably in some circular manner. Then I wonder if after that, um, if it's on the land, they know that you can't report a ship on land, so they just move it to the closest water. I bet you that this report was probably like right here and then it moved it over here, which means the reason why I mentioned that is because I'm wondering how their spotting report could be so off, but it wouldn't be so off if it was like reported here. It's actually a little bit closer to these. So otherwise you'd expect them to be on the west side. But by the way, when was this report made? 23, 23. That's two hours old. I mean, then they were headed, no, oh, they're heading east. So technically they're heading into the bay. And usually, I mean, the direction, unless they got it completely backwards. That should tell us something. Okay. Anyways, we're entering the dangerous waters. Ha! <laughs> dangerous waters. What a game. I'm expecting to spot some ships pretty soon here. No? Okay. Here we go. What do we have, though? Let me, let me know. Yeah, lots of wounded things, I I would guess. Okay, the walker class, the walk class. Six five-inch guns, that's pretty threatening. Look at this, this destroyer has two aircraft. That is really impressive. How do they fit two aircraft and still have a functioning design? That's, that's fair. I mean, this thing was built to be a support scout, whatever. Um, and this is exactly what I feared, though, that our destroyers are not really, that they're decent. But they're not really equipped for this kind of engagement. We'd rather let the cruisers go in first, which is, uh, I think, what we'll just do. Unless we can outnumber them, like, a lot, by a lot. Just wait for the cruisers. Okay. While you guys are moving, I actually want you to, <laughs> there it is. Counter, counteract your movement north. So I need them to basically head south. <laughs> um, yeah, it is time. It's time to get start readying the second wave. I wish that there was a way to just do this in a more automatic fashion. That wasn't too bad, actually. So let's ready the strikes. Heavy this time, uh, ready strike. 
Okay, fine. Did it work? What happened? Who has only two torpedoes? And why do you only have two torpedoes after the first wave? Oh my gosh, look at this. I am actually readying like planes that are completely unreadyable. This is done, whatever. We're readying them, let's just let's leave it at that. I probably should have launched the strike because otherwise I'll have to pay attention to when they're, when they're ready myself, but that's okay. Should be doing the same thing with the Division 13 as well. So you two came home, this is good. 18 here, came home, 17 below it. 19 above it. These guys all came home. And two. So that's it. Let's ready these guys for another strike. Torpedo fuel heavy. Torpedo fuel, okay, ready strike. I don't know why they started off with so few torpedoes. Anyway, here's the carrier, or the cruisers. These are what? Jiri. No, it's not just a Ujiri. I think it must be with uh, the yeah, Chun Chun Marus. All right, well, these guys should shred the destroyers though, which is what I want. That's what they're there for. You guys can actually slow down a fair amount to kind of rest your engines. <clears throat> we'll have you pick up the speed again. Uh, as soon as we are dealing with the destroyers. Really, really impressive first launch. And I, I feel like we are actually gonna call the video to a close here. There's almost no way that I'm not gonna, I need to send another strike in. So I think we're gonna call this one to, but this was an amazing start. The first wave has already come back, has been recovered. I, I mean, if this is true that this is one carrier and one battleship, I imagine they're both already sunk. We'd like to take out every single ship here, just seal off the bay and just go inch by inch until they're all dead. Because, I mean, we need to put as big of a dent in the US Navy as we can while we have the chance. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. This is one of my favorite videos to record this entire series. I love these surprise attacks. They're really fun. Um, but thanks for watching. We'll wrap it up here. Until the next one, stay safe and take care.